Today, we're gonna answer a question that has plagued productivity philosophers since the dawn of time. Just how integrated is Gmail with Google Tasks? Well, one option is to simply drag the email over to your Google Tasks list here in your companion bar, but that can get sort of boring. What about clicking into the email, pressing Shift plus T, and adding it to the list without even touching the mouse? Or to really spice things up, consider selecting multiple emails like so, and clicking the Google Tasks icon up here. Or if you're one of those mobile people, open up your Gmail app, click into an email, click the three dots up top here, and simply add to task. Does that answer your question? Okay. Let's just get started. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff. Come for the productivity and stay for the sarcastic comments. Following up on that first Google task tip I just shared, a pro tip would be to rename the task title since by default, it just brings the email subject line over. Google task tip number two is to delegate tasks to other people. This is a relatively new feature, but if you use Google chat at work or with your friends, you need to first be in the same room with them like so go to the tasks tab here and simply add a room task. Once tasks are added, you can assign people to the tasks. And what's really cool here is that once you do that, it will actually show up on their individual task list, which is a pretty cool feature. Back to the room, you can now sort the tasks by date, due date rather, or assignee. And I think it goes alphabetically, let me check. Yes, it does. And if you click it again, it reverses the order. So you can also sort by date in the app itself or in the companion bar here. But usually I leave it at just my order since even though there are due dates for these tasks, I know for me which ones need to be prioritized. Tip number three is in order to create a repeating task, you can simply press the repeat icon here, select a cadence and a time and press okay easy enough. But what may not be so obvious is if you want to delete a completed repeating task, what you need to do is go down to the completed section here, click the trash can icon here, and confirm that you want to delete all past and future occurrences. And speaking of deleting tasks, I usually clean these out every Sunday evening uh, by clicking delete all completed tasks here. Uh, so I can start the next week with a clean interface. For those of you who watched my other videos, you might be like, Jeff, I thought you used Todoist for everything. Why ain't lying to me, man? No worries, I'm gonna explain myself in a minute. In the meantime, let me know why you continue to use Google Tasks. Is it the Google integration? Is it the lightweight bare bone experience? I'd love to know. Tip number four involves Google Calendar. So head on over to Calendar homepage. First, make sure the task selection is checked here. Now you can create a task directly from your calendar like you would uh, a calendar event. Select task and let's say drink water like Bruce Lee because martial arts, wata, water, get it? <laughs> I'm so funny. So the benefit of doing it this way is that you automatically have a time attached to it. So once I save this, it will automatically update here on the companion bar as well. Pro tip, if you're like me and generally like to start the day by going through an agenda, you can select the schedule view here or simply press A and now you can actually see the tasks embedded between your calendar events, nice and clean. Before going on to the next tip, I need to give some context on how I use Google Tasks. First, I use it mainly at work since we use Google Workspace in the office, and I do rely on the free version of Todoist for all my personal stuff. Second, the only situations where I have to add items onto my task list is when I have to capture thoughts or action items and I literally do not have time to open up a Google Keep note or Google Doc document. Since it's just so easy to get to the Google task list in the companion bar from the Gmail and calendar homepages. For example, I'm in the middle of replying to an email. My manager walks by and tells me to send her something by 3 p.m. I don't wanna lose my train of thought. That's not very productive but I also need to remind myself of my manager's request, Google task. Or I'm scheduling a team meeting in calendar and I notice it's a colleague's birthday coming up. And because I'm just such an angel, I remind myself to buy them a birthday present in Google tasks. And I go back to finishing scheduling that team meeting. In short, I dump my thoughts onto the task list to minimize distractions from what I'm currently working on. And with that context, tip number five is to organize your task lists by projects. 
So I know that natural inclination is to have a personal list and a work list. But if you watch my Google Chrome video, uh, you know it's much better to have a work profile and a personal profile to keep things separate. What's more, Google Task is set up in a way that even if you add a task to a list it doesn't belong to, because you add a couple of seconds to type it out, for example, submit super secret design plans, you can easily relabel this with two clicks. One, two. And this makes it super easy to reallocate tasks to different project lists. As usual, please let me know if I missed any cool features or functions that you currently use. If you haven't seen my video on how I never forget a single task, check that out over here. See you on the next video. And in the meantime, have a great one.